My favorite Elder Scrolls game sucks. I mean that, seriously. It's full of problems, more so than the average game. Analysis upon analysis put a microscope on the big three Bethesda Elder Scrolls games and continuously single out Oblivion with numerous design flaws that are frankly laughable in hindsight. Whereas Morrowind presents the depth of storytelling and player agency to appease the most hardcore of Western RPG player, Skyrim lays down a commanding hold on the elements of a more enjoyable, casual Western RPG that is extremely accessible to a wide audience. Oblivion is neither of these things. It prevents you from killing major story characters, robbing the player agency in an open world and opting for handholding over a true free open world experience but at the same time doesn't provide the RPG systems to complement this like Skyrim has, bogging the player down with a broken leveling system and completely imbalanced skills. Do you want to level destruction magic and become a powerful offensive mage? Well, good luck, because the primary damage spells become useless really quickly, they require tons of grinding to gain levels, and because the overarching character stats level in a way that's tied to your skills, you're going to be accidentally upgrading things like athleticism and acrobatics as fast, if not faster. Oblivion's world is full of paper-thin NPCs that have riveting conversations such as Hello, I saw a mud crab the other day. Goodbye. Making Morrowind seem like Shakespeare in comparison. The main storyline of Oblivion sends the player through agonizing Oblivion gates, full of garish red landscapes, overly healthy enemies, and imaginatively lacking design. I can't remember a single gate because they kind of all bled together into the same gate in the end. But for anybody that saw the title of this video, here's the kicker. This is my favorite Elder Scrolls game. Morrowind's ocean deep lore and Skyrim's main streamlined systems full in my view, Oblivion remains to this day the Elder Scrolls game that I look back on with nothing but a fond smile. I remember watching King Uriel Septim be assassinated. I remember stepping out of the sewer into a vast green landscape and greeting my new life. I remember stealing everything I could from the house of a stranger I had accidentally killed. I remember being stopped in the name of the law. I remember more, so, so much more, the music that played during a walk through the peaceful valleys, the music when an enemy spotted me, the lockpicking minigame, the persuasion minigame, and above all else, reading the words, you are overburdened and cannot move. I remember killing everybody in the lakefront and being chased by Hieronymus Lex to the bottom of the lake, watching the horrifying image of his grotesque, uniquely Bethesda head model angrily glare at me some hundred feet below the surface as he swam past the razorfish that were attempting to kill me. Circumstances in my life at the time, how I obtained this game, the times when I played it, the state of mind I was in, all these things shaped how I view Oblivion. I would never say it's my favorite game or even high up on my list, but when mentioned it only inspires happy memories in me. All of this I'm telling you because I think it's something that we often forget. You can love something despite its flaws. You can dislike or even hate something despite the innovations or design prowess or even quote unquote objectively good things about it. You can like a bad thing and you can hate a good thing. I often see arguments erupt online, in the comments, on Twitter, everywhere. People defend their favorite games to the death, heroically waving banners for Sonic the Hedgehog. People attack games they dislike with reckless abandon, launching verbal artillery strikes on Majora's Mask. People seem to equate the idea of liking something to the idea of being connected to that thing. If someone insults something they love, it's taken as an insult towards them personally. I feel that taking defensive stances like this can not only be detrimental to meaningful conversation, but it's just silly and I think that we're better than that. When someone laughs about Oblivion, I laugh with them. Oblivion is the worst Elder Scrolls game. It's quirky, it's poorly designed in so many ways, and I readily join the joke train to poke fun at it. And yet, I unironically love Oblivion. Because there's no reason to be insecure or upset about myself or others' views of me based on the game's integrity. I love it, and so I love it. End of story. Whatever you love, despite what others may say about it, I want you to continue loving that thing. My opinion, or anybody else's opinion on a thing you may like, means nothing about you as a person. And I hope you know the same applies in the opposite direction. Sometime in the future, if your favorite game is being trashed by somebody, take the time to look back and remember that game. Do you like it, despite their words? If so, then there's nothing to worry about. Keep liking that game. Keep liking that thing, whatever it is. Keep being positive and spread that joy where you can. Thanks for watching! This short, sappy little video was made possible by my Patreon supporters. You can see their names on screen right now. Big thanks to you guys. You can click the annotation or link in the description to head to patreon.com sunder and join them. As always, my name has been Sunder, and I will see you next time. Not a bad way to make some money if you've got the stones for it.
Yes. There once Heard any was news from the other provinces? The Nothing I'd like to a talk about. Guard of courage Be seen. And honor was oh, hey, sweet lady of way rest. Oh, soul. hey, sweet lady of mine. I'll see you again. Yes, I'll see you again. Sweet lady of way rest so fine. There once was a hardy young lad of 